All right, so this is the workflow on how to use two GoPro sessions to do a stereo video. This will be a little longer video because there is a few steps and explanations necessary. Let's see how I get the recording rig done first. Um, the sessions have like those little frames where you mount them in and uh, online you can buy like a little wig where you mount two of them in the spot of one. Right, but um, the problem I have with those, with this online version I bought, this is too flimsy and it bends a little so the camera is a little tilted. That's how it came in the box. I don't know if there's straighter ones out, but uh, it's not very expensive. I think it was like six or seven dollars, but it it's going to do the trick. Um, Another problem with that one was that the screw didn't really fit well. So that's for that reason I, I took my 3D printer and I printed just my own, a little more sturdy, with a little more space around there to mount my rig here on like a selfie stick. Selfie stick seems to be the easiest for this whole thing. And that's how it looks like. Now, this is my first test print. It's not that pretty there with the print, but it does a trick. And that's how my rig is looking. Right, and with that, I'm going to record a video. And then that video we have to process to make it 3D. And I use the software that came with it. The GoPro studio app now one more thing we need to know the uh, remote control app is not going to handle two of those cameras at the same time you need to get the real gopro remote this one here where you can start the movie on both cameras at the same time and you can also stop it at the same time so that little remote there works pretty well but doesn't matter how many cameras you have Okay, so now I have two SD cards basically with those videos on there. And the thing is you have to rename them with 3D underscore L and 3D underscore R. Like if it comes out of the right camera or the left camera. Those two renaming of the files you have to do. And then you just drag those both cameras into your tool and it will import that as one video, as a 3D video. See, it's down there, it says 3D. Alright, so um, this movie here, you can uh, click on this uh, movie. You know, you have to click on the movie here, there, and then it becomes available in the middle here, in the center. And in there, you can scroll back and forth to mark in and out points, so to find the section you want out of this clip. And I'm going to keep this here for 30 seconds to make it not too long so this is a 30 second piece here where's that there around here we mark the out point so the gray area here is what we want and then I just have to get it here over to the part where it has to be converted and you click the convert button and then it goes And once it's converted, let me make this a little bigger, we can proceed to step two. So now the fun begins. We cancel the template stuff, click it there, and then here on the right, we can do the settings with the 3D convergence. First of all, how you want to look at it in the lower resolution, then it's a little faster. And where is it here? 3D convergence. There you have a few sliders where you move those two pictures around. Right, so you go left, right, and up, down. And while you do this, you can either look at the picture to see when you have the red, uh, green overlaps, or the red, blue shadow ghost pictures so you remove the ghosting 
um, you do that, you can turn, uh, take your glasses and your your red cyan glasses to look at this. And this is just for the adjustment, right? So how you want the shot to be adjusted. You can keyframe everything in here. And then later when you export this, it will be a side-by-side -side so you can upload to YouTube. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm going to save this project here. Not the project, so when I go on the export button, right? So I'm uh, saving this movie basically. And uh, the format is YouTube. You can do anything else, any other uh, thing here, but I am going to do YouTube. And then uh, we hit export and see how that goes. So I fast forward this a little, that uh, that doesn't take too much time, but you should think now when this thing is exported and you have that video, that that is ready to go up to YouTube. But there is a little bit of an issue there that YouTube changed some things um, and they need 3D video flags inside each train of the video and that does not seem to work honestly with the GoPro app. So what is GoPro doing here? The GoPro is starting some other tools. Right. Okay. So this is this video and uh, we're going to upload this as a test so that I can show you that this 3D function we want here does not work. And for that we have to add uh, we need to add or inject 3D data to it. Okay, so I'm uploading here now this video as private video. There. Drag this little baby in here. And uh, I write in the description what version this is. So this is straight out of the GoPro Studio app. And we take a look later how that is going to look like when it's done. And here also I fast forwarded this through it. And we can see here that the 3D button doesn't pop up. And um, that may take a little bit on Google to, to show, but we will see later if it really did. So what we do now is we go and to use the Handbrake software, Handbrake, and we are injecting in every single frame a few words, like tags, to mark this. And uh, I did a video on that and how to do this whole process with Handbrake to inject 3D metadata into your video. And this is, uh, I, I posted a link down there. Oh, sorry, so I posted I posted a link down here in the description we have here in how to do this. Software. And what where Maybe this video is, what well, explains just that. And uh, so down here you add this word it and then from here we go and we just convert this with handbrake okay and then we upload that again to see what that does so and after I do this in a super fast forward here again and then we're going to upload this now so there's this uh, injected video and when I upload this first of all I need rename it Give the same name plus the word injected so that I find it later again. Easy. That we don't get confused what we uploaded. Okay, let's see here. Upload, upload, upload. Here, see, it's still no 3D logo on the first one. But now it's 1080 available. So it is went through processing there at Google. Just the 3D is not there. Okay. That was the first one, no? So now let's upload the number two here. Upload. And basically the same process. So I'm going to fast forward this again to go to the next step. And this time I fast forward eight speed so that it does even faster the upload. Okay, now we look at this. This was uploaded now. This is the second one, the injection. The problem is that 
We are moving too much. So, I'm sorry, so this is in the video, the sound, right? And so it's not processed yet. Uh, it's no 3D button. Uh, yeah, and we saw during upload that they like better to have this thing uh, optimized for web. So uh, I'm going to upload it again. Like do I do a third version now with this frame blending in here. I'm oh, sorry. So frame in there. And then here we do web optimized too. Those two. Web optimized, and then we give it a new name here um, the, to make that easier on, on YouTube. And then uh, let's see how that works with the 3D transformation there. And again, I'm going to fast forward through this, through the upload, and then we look at the final product. So now they are all three out there. They are a little bit time-wise sitting on there. And we see that the first one does not go 3D second one doesn't go 3D, so we had this web optimized, not selected. And the third one here does do right. The third one, oh, do replay here, um, is an anaglyph here on the screen, and it will be available for cardboard on the phone. That we are too much. We are right, so this is working there um, in 3D now. It's perfect. Now let me get you a little screen grab from a phone to see how this works and cardboard. Okay, so here I'm on the phone and then we have the three movies there. Click on this first one and there's no cardboard logo on the screen immediately to see. And if I force it into cardboard, let's try that here, view in cardboard. Then you see that on left and right, I both have both eyes on there. So that doesn't make sense at all. Then the movie injected. I'm sorry. Oh, where is it? Movie injected. Second one, right? <coughs> That's where I forgot to do the web optimized. Same problem, right? So it did not recognize the 3D. So, and then the last one here. There, you see it already, it, it comes up in uh, anaglyph. And when you click on it, then each eye has its own picture or oh, anaglyph. So you and you have this logo on the screen. So let me turn it around to the side. There, so you have each uh, eye has one picture. 